Making preserves, a delicious dive into English vocabulary. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and flavorful topic in the English language, making preserves. This phrase is not just about cooking. It's a window into culture, tradition, and of course, language. So, let's get started and unravel the layers of meaning behind this delightful expression. Making preserves refers to the process of preparing and storing fruits or vegetables for long-term use. This typically involves cooking the produce with sugar and sealing it in jars. But it's not just about the technical steps. This phrase carries with it a sense of home, tradition, and nostalgia. Many people recall memories of family members making jams, jellies, and pickles, preserving the bounty of summer for the colder months. Preserving food is an ancient practice, dating back to when our ancestors needed to store food for the winter. In English, the term preserves encompasses a variety of products like jams, jellies, marmalades, and pickles. Each of these has its own unique history and cultural significance. For instance, marmalade has a distinctly British connotation, often associated with breakfasts and tea time. In English, making preserves can be used both literally and metaphorically. Literally, it's about the preparation of preserved foods. Metaphorically, it can imply preserving memories, traditions, or aspects of culture. This phrase is also an example of how English often uses gerunds, verbs ending in ing, to describe activities. When discussing, making preserves, several related words and phrases often come up. Understanding these will enrich your English vocabulary. For example, jam, a type of preserve made from crushed or chopped fruits. Jelly, made from fruit juice and sugar, with a clear and firm consistency. Marmalade, a preserve made from citrus fruits, especially oranges. Canning, the process of preserving cooked food in jars. Learning about making preserves isn't just academic. It's a great way to engage in conversation about cooking, traditions, and family histories. You can also use this knowledge in practical contexts like cooking classes, cultural exchange programs, or in simple day-to-day -day conversations about food and lifestyle. I hope this video has been as delightful for you as a jar of homemade jam. Understanding phrases like, making preserves, not only enhances your English skills but also gives you a taste of the rich cultural and historical aspects of the language. Stay curious, keep learning, and don't forget to preserve those new words in your vocabulary jar. See you in the next video.